Hello there, my name is Ismas, and today we're going to be looking at uh, the Carl's Physics and Simulation Expander. This is an add-on that adds fu more functionality to the particle system that comes built in with Blender. And not a lot of add-ons like this, and uh, if you get this one in particular, you won't need, need more add-ons uh, to do uh, the kind of things uh, this add-on does. So let's look at some of the best features of this add-on, and uh, if you go to the link that I'll be providing in the description uh, to get the add-on, you can also see uh, some of the features that comes with the add-on and uh, the best most, most exciting feature about this add-on is the fact that uh, it can detect when the particles have died and uh, you can use that detection to add more extra function more particle system for example if you're doing something like a fireworks uh, like in this demo here you can see that uh, the particle system is able to detect where the particle system's particles end and then instance a new particle system from that uh, this was functionality that was available if you are if you used i uh, i think it was blender 2 blender 2.4 and uh, earlier versions where you had a reactor uh, particle system uh, this was functionality that was available then but then it was removed later for some reason i'm not sure why but uh, it was really great for creating rain uh, because when you have rain particles uh hitting the flow you it would uh, those particle systems would spawn off uh more particle systems that you would uh, use as uh basically water splashes and uh, this is the this uh this add-on brings that brings back other functionality and you can see let me just go back to this demo here you can see how uh the these particle system are spawning off secondary splashes or secondary uh, sparks the current particle system that comes built in in blender doesn't have that that functionality as i said it was removed in uh, i think version 2.4 if you were using blender that during those times and uh, when they introduced 2.5 that was when they changed the entire interface they also removed uh, the, the reactor system uh, which this particle system is bringing back you can see that uh, when these splashes these particles hit these are uh, they create secondary splashes and uh, this is functionality that has been lacking in blender for a while and uh, i'm glad this add-on is bringing it back so if you want to get this add-on again I'll be, I'll be leaving a link in the description so that you can check out uh, the add-on yourself uh yeah thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video